Hi, okay, so I will show how to hack and find a Livolo a remote code. So, uh, first, what you need uh, to get is a receiver like this. This is an RF receiver uh, for frequency of uh, 433 megahertz, which is the frequency of the Livolo remote. Uh, this receiver have only three pins, which are VCC ground and RX out. RX is the receiving signal. Uh, this is a, like a key shifting, which means you have uh, directly the bits out, and you don't have to take care about uh, other thing. It's directly give the bit of the signal out to the RX. We'll connect this uh, to Arduino and see how it is working. Okay, so I have here uh, two Livolo remotes. This is one of them. The second one is this small one with four buttons. I think this just A and B are in use. And what I else have here is the board Arduino Uno. This model is the transmitter, not in use now. This is the receiver in use, also the RTC is not in use. So I'm using uh, right now just this one, the receiver. Okay, so let's see the program. It is now running. So every time I press a button, I can see the code of the button. I will try to do some zooming in order to see it a little better. Okay, and now I'm pressing button. Serial monitor. Okay. Now the program will move to receiver mode. And now when I'm pressing the button, I can see a few things. First of all, we can see the bits, and now it is writing one code, one code, because sometimes it is not reading the data correct. Okay, but now it is correct. The code is not perfect, but it is doing something. We can see key code number 9696 and also the remote ID is uh, 2011 okay and if I'm pressing key uh, the key uh, right now key number one okay so we see code zero now it is all the time the same, so it is okay. I move into button two. The number now is 96, and the remote ID is the same all the time. Button number three is 120. Again, remote ID 2011. And if I'm pressing the other remote, the little one, okay, this one, okay, pressing A. We can see now that the remote ID has changed and also uh, the code uh, is number 8 when I am pressing button A, pressing button B, I get 16 while the remote ID is the same all the time. Okay, so actually this is uh, working quite well and uh, by this software that I have not written but I'm just using. Uh, I wanted to do it myself, but I said to myself before going uh, to such a project, I will try to find out if someone did it before. So basically, it is not very complicated to do such a program. What you need to do is just uh, connect scope to the RX out and watch the bits and uh, try to see uh, the time uh, of the bits 
and then from the bits to see uh, how it is organized meaning what is the uh, code number key uh, and what is uh, the bits that define the remote okay so uh, working quite well and I could with this program send the same bits by the software and control my home automation. That's all guys. Bye bye.